Wilting. Is that word familiar to you? Wilting. When I say that a plant has undergone the process of wilting, what exactly do I mean? So that is what we're going to talk about in this particular lesson. Right here on Darasa where learning is made easy and I'll be taking you through it. My name is Mr. Ben. So what are your objectives for this lesson? We are going to talk about just wilting. I'm going to define for you what wilting is. I'm going to give you an illustration of how wilting occurs and how you can maybe rectify or prevent wilting, you know. Yeah, so specifically in this particular lesson, I'm just talking about wilting and that will help you. So what is wilting? I'm going to begin by giving you an illustration of what wilting is. But before I do that, you know what transpiration is. Do you know what transpiration is? Transpiration is a process whereby plants lose water vapor, okay? Plants lose water vapor. Number one, they can lose that through transpiration. And number two, they can also lose through evaporation, you know? So, having understood what transpiration is, and actually also what evaporation is, I think it's very nice for me now to talk about wilting. And I'll begin again by giving you an illustration. Take this good example, a plant, not necessarily in a desert, but uh, in, a, in a hot, sunny weather, okay? So when the, when the weather is very hot outside, and then you go and observe this particular plant, look at the leaves specifically. Tell me what you can see in these, or rather on the surface of the leaves. You realize that the leaves have actually drooped. Or let me use a different term to explain that. The leaves have slackened, you know, they've slackened a bit. And like, for instance, in the morning, you realize that the leaves are very vibrant, okay? So, but then in this uh, time of the day, when the sun is just overhead, you realize that the temperatures are very high. So the leaves, they actually droop, okay? They, they slacken. So what exactly happens? Why do the leaves undergo that process? Why do they droop? And uh, for the record, you need to know that the drooping of these leaves, that is what we call uh, wilting, okay? The drooping of these leaves, that is what we call wilting. So let me give you an elaborate de uh, uh, definition of what wilting is. So wilting is a process that occurs when a plant loses much water or more water than, than it actually gains, okay? You know that a plant gains water through absorption, okay, through the roots. So when it loses more water through transpiration and evaporation, much more water than it gains, then eventually that particular plant will droop, okay? Will droop, the leaves will slacken. So you call that process wilting, okay? But wilting actually, at night, uh, the plant recovers from wilting. Why? Because the stomata, they normally close. So when the stomata closes, for that reason, uh, there's minimal evaporation or minimal transpiration. Are we together? So actually the plant gains more water and the plant becomes vibrant again at night. Okay? So during the day, if the sun is overhead and the temperatures are really high, of course, I tell you that temperature is one of the factors that increases or rather that affects the rate of transpiration. If the temperatures are pretty high, that means that the rate of transpiration will also shoot, okay? So when the sun is overhead right there and then the water intake is pretty low, then definitely that particular plant will droop. So again, I repeat, so what is wilting? Wilting is a process whereby a plant loses much water, much more water than it gains. It loses through evaporation and transpiration. You can combine that and even say evapotranspiration. It's more or less the same thing. Are we together? So that is what you need to know about wilting. A question comes in this way. Differentiate between wilting and plasmolysis. Differentiate between wilting and plasmolysis. So if you're given such a question, like you differentiate between wilting and plasmolysis, what are you going to, what's going to be your feedback on that? So, uh, what is plasmolysis? Plasmolysis is a shrinking of a plant cell when placed in a hypertonic solution. Wilting is a process whereby a plant loses much more water than it actually gains. As simple as that. So thank you so much for keeping it right here on the RASA. 
where learning is made easy. I've been your teacher, Mr. Ben.